that? Shooting around in my gym. Oh shoot! Does he got the new KD nines on? Hey yo, my dude, who you in? You talking to me? Oh sh yo, Brickhouse bitter. What's good, man? You here working on your game? Yeah, I'm working on my game, new and improved. I can take you one on one now. <laughs> You're funny, my dog. Where you been working at? The hyperbolic time chamber? What the heck is a hyperbolic time chamber? Yo, if you're so good, hey, let's play one-on-one, -on -one right now. Since you're saying you're so good now, I'll play you for your brand new KD9s. Dude, for my brand new KDs, I just got these. Well, if you say you're so good, why don't you put your game where your mouth is? So what do you want to put online then? If I'm going to put these KDs up, what are you going to put up? All right, if you win, I'll give you whatever I got in my backpack, whatever kicks I got in here. And I'll throw in this Superfly Limited Edition USA sweater. It don't look that limited to me, but hey, what if you got some trash ass kicks in your bag? That ain't a fair trade. Hey, but like I said, you say you so good, you so confident, you could take me one-on-one. -on -one. It's a free win for you, right? It's a come-up. All right, let's do it. So who's ball? Shoot for it, bro. All right, I'll shoot for it right now. Brick house. Yo, what'd I say? What'd I say? I thought you knew and improved, man. What's up with that? Yo, I just wanted to give you a chance, man. That's all I told you to give you the ball. Alright, man. Let's see. We're about to get what? What are we playing up to? What you wanna play up to? Let's play up to one point, because all it takes is one point to beat you. One point, my possession? Yeah, I'm not scared. What are you talking about? I'm gonna lock you up right now, get the ball, I'm gonna freaking score on you. Alright, all right, check up. All top, man. Shoot. Why you flinching? Just give me the rock, dog. Shoot. I'm about to take those candy nines off your feet. What side you want me to go? Yeah, don't huh? matter. Oh! Oh! Hey, you a man on your word or what? Take off them kicks. Hey, you lucky I wasn't ready. I didn't know you checked up already. Hey, but since I'm a man of my word, I'll give you my kicks. I'm not a sore loser. Here you go. Thank you very much. But I I'm... think you need a little more practicing, man. Keep practicing, young hey, blood. But, hey, but you're going to need to give me some shoes. I'm in my socks right now. Well, that's what happens when you challenge the greatest and you lose, so I guess you're walking home barefoot, young blood. I thought we were friends. What? I've, I've done some videos with you. You can just take my shoes and you don't give me any other shoes? I'm in my socks. What kind of friend are you? Dang, now. Hey, so out of curiosity, hey, hypothetically, if I were to beat you, what shoes do you have in your bag? What shoes do I have in my bag? Usually I would have beat you, but. Man, usually you never beat me, so uh, all right, man. Well, just hey, cause I feel bad, I'll show you what I got in my bag that right, you would have won. All right? all right, let's see it. You ready? I guess. Bam! <laughs> what the heck, yo? Why yo. the heck did you want to play me for my shoes? You got the same exact shoes, dude. Hey, you should be a real homie. And give me back my pair. All right, man. Make sure you work really hard in your game before you ever decide to challenge me in a one-on-one -on -one again. All right? I'll challenge you in ten minutes.
What's going on guys? Nelson Champ from Hoopin' Life. Here with me is my boy Kevin La, aka Kayla. We back with another sneaker review, and you already know it features the KD9s. As y'all already know, Kevin Durant is officially out of OKC. That's a no-no. No, I wasn't surprised that he was gonna leave. But what's surprising is the team that he left to. Pretty much KD going to the Golden State Warriors. It's basically like if you can't beat them, join them. To me, you know, I have some pride. Uh, I wouldn't want to go to the team who just beat me out of the NBA playoffs. Automatically, you know, we don't need to go into shoe review. This is just garbage, you know, so yeah. All right, until next time, we out. Peace. <laughs> nah. Getting back to what we were saying, here is his new signature, the KD9s. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with the traction, the KD9 features what is called the honeycomb traction pattern with multi-directional tread patterns. It also has an anatomical flex groove placed in the forefoot to maximize natural transitions. Right off the bat, I was actually surprised on how well it actually performed no matter which direction you're moving, cutting, or you know, stopping. It gives you a pretty good court grip feel. I would definitely agree that the traction is pretty solid on this. With the solid rubber outsole, it's soft, it's flexible which also it's still durable at the same time. So overall, it's, it's a pretty good traction. Moving on to the materials. The front half portion of the shoe consists of truly fly knit. It's free range fly knit with very minimal backing behind it, but it's still supportive and lightweight at the same time. The back half of the shoe is made of a combination of mesh and foam, along with the TPU heel counter with the KD logo on it. The materials for the KD9s I feel like are an upgrade from the KD8's Flyweave. You know, it features the fly knit, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You know, it's lightweight, flexible. It doesn't have that TPU wire like the Kobe 11 has, which I felt like super stiff, you know, was kind of restricted. With this, it's like free range fly knit where your foot just like, just freely moves around. This shoe actually feels like a fly knit. So overall, the material on the shoe, it's pretty solid, it's pretty good. Obviously, fly knit is really comfortable, but prior times, you know, with other shoes, not just basketball shoes, the fly knit hasn't really held up very well, but we'll see in time. You know, right now, the fly knit on this for 150 bucks, definitely a good deal. Let's see how hard y'all ball till y'all rip your fly knits. So moving on to the support and lockdown of the KD9s. It has a one-piece boot-like upper that provides an incredible fit and fill with areas of breathability, stretch, and support where you need them most. It has intersecting lace loops that support and contain your foot during sharp cuts and movements. Alright, so this is probably my least favorite part of the shoe. Not saying that it's not great, but it's my least favorite part overall. Because of the fly knit is so soft and flexible, I felt like containment was not at its best for the shoe. Like we mentioned previously, as the shoe you know wears down or the fly knit stretches more or gets softer, it might rip or containment of the fly knit might not you know hold you down as much as you know, other materials. You know, I have to agree with you on the part where the fly knit in time will probably stretch out and it'll probably feel a lot looser. For my liking, I definitely like the lockdown. My foot felt pretty secure. And considering I hooped in the KD8, just the regular low top versions, those had terrible lockdown. Oh yeah, there's been those. There's been multiple times where my foot has come out of the shoe. Those did not have good heel lockdown, but these definitely upgraded on the lockdown. So moving on to the cushion for the KD9s. Full length max zoom from heel to toe. It's thicker in the heel and narrows down towards the forefoot. Nike increased the amount of zoom and decreased the amount of foam. The zoom in these just felt amazing. I personally love the, the Nike zoom setup in all my shoes, you know, from all the previous Kobe lines. But this one is like a different animal. The same beast, but different animal from all that Kobe commercial y'all seen before. But it's like softer, more cushiony, but still as responsive as you know the Kobe zoom line. The cushion is definitely a favorite part of the shoe for me. Considering how lightweight the shoe is and the amount of court feel you get. A lot of times you have to sacrifice cushion in order to get court feel for a really lightweight shoe. But I feel like this does a really good job in integrating all the components. I feel like the KD9 cushioning setup is almost perfectly well balanced. As for comfort and size fit for the KD9s, with the soft and flexible flight and upper, the KD9s require no break in time. These are good to go from the get go. But if I were to say the only thing you need to break in, I feel like, you know, is the max zoom. You know, you gotta hoop in a few times to, to really, you know, expand. Yeah, but right off the bat, you know, once you put these shoes on, you know, it doesn't feel really stiff. You know, these are pretty soft and flexible. These ran true to size for me. I've heard people say, you know, that it runs tight, it runs snug. I've also heard people say that, you know, it runs long and big. So, but for me, it was true to size for me. So my best advice for y'all is to go to the store, try it on, see how it fits for you before you decide on what size y'all want. Yeah, I would agree. For me, it was personally true to size. I personally wear a 10 for all my shoes. I went with the 10. First, fits perfectly. 
Not too long, not too snug. You know, I like how he's I like how he's feeling feet. As far as pricing goes for the KD9s, these retail at $150. The KD9 price at $150, I would say, is a steal, but it's not a steal because Nike has been overpricing their shoes, you know, to $200, $250, whatever. I feel like it's a standard. $150 performance shoe, that's worth it. Com compared to what's out in the market right now. Overall, we feel like $150, this is a good deal in terms of the performance you're getting mm -hmm. uh, for the shoe. Shout out to KD and uh, Nike. And lastly, for our overall rating of the KD9s, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Even though I personally believe that they're better than the Lillard 2s, and the Curry 2s, which are you know one of my top favorite shoes right now. I feel like the KD9 does not give it enough for me to give it a 9.5 out of 10, but these are solid. You know, yeah. I put them slightly above the Curry's and Lillard's in my opinion. Yeah, these would definitely be a 9.5 out of 10 if the price point was a little cheaper. Now, don't get me wrong, 150 is still a really good price for what the shoe is, but say these compared to the Curry 2s, the Lillard 2s, how much those retail? 130, 135? The Curry's are 130 and the Lillers are 105. Which is why I feel like, you know, those two, for the price that they are, you know, gives you a great amount of performance. Yeah. These, the performance is just slightly better, but, you know, considering it's 150, which is obviously more than the Curry's and the Lillard's, you know, that's why I had to give it a 9 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching that sneaker review on the KD9s. Uh, let us know down in the comments below what were your thoughts on the KD9s. If y'all have the KD9s, let us know down in the comments below what do y'all think of it, how well it performed for you guys. Alright guys, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Check this video out over here, over here. And until next time, you'll see. Expect a Golden State Warriors colorway of this shoe because Kevin Law is too dumb to speak. And until next time, we out. Right, peace. <laughs> peace.